Hey guys, Evans with Z111 here today, and I'm bringing you the other Destiny video that I will be doing, which shows the PvP of the game. Destiny recently went open beta on all the consoles, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, and Xbox One, and it's available pretty much all weekend. So I have hit the level cap in Player vs. Enemy, and I've now jumped into Player vs. Player, which I am really loving. Because even though it feels like a typical first-person shooter Player vs. Player, you run around as a team and capture the zones against the other team, it ties in your single player progress, so you have your single player character, all the equipment, so the guns you collect in single player, and all the equipment, you can use in player versus player, which is awesome, because it feels as though you don't have to pick a specific loadout, you can just really play it as yourself, you have your little custom class. Now I am currently running with a pulse rifle and a sniper rifle, and this thing, or this combination on this map actually works really well. Also due to the added mobility that you have in the game, like double jumps and things like that, it means the multiplayer maps are much more, um, let's say dynamic. So I'm going to get down this choke point with my sniper whilst capturing point B. And this point B is primarily where I will be defending because this thing works great with sniper. However, I do actually have the long range scope equipped so let me quickly change that to the short range scope because I forgot to change it back after the single player video I did. So there we go. And I'm going to get the final rounds and shit I am under attack. Oh god, I, I cannot do no scope. I am... There we go, okay that's a kill and that's also a suicide. I had no awareness of my surroundings there, but at least I managed to successfully defend the zone, and it looks like we still have B, but we don't have C or A, so I might actually have to leave my safety zone in order to help the team. Now, I have two abilities. I have throwing knives attached to R2, and I have grenades attached to L2. I accidentally got killed from behind there. Again, my awareness was zilch. So, should I... Yeah, we've got C, so I'm going to go back and defend B, because that choke point is very, very effective with a sniper, as I said. Let me go over here, and... To be honest, I might be able to... No, I can't sit there with a sniper, never mind. But, yep, it looks so I can assist these guys, so... Let's get my sniping on, because sniping in FPS games, I've never really ever been too good with snipers. But, in Destiny, I'm actually somewhat competent. Like, oh damn, I got the assist there. Well, that's going to be really good. I nearly got a headshot, but that wouldn't have actually been a headshot anyway, so... I take it back. Anyway, as I was saying with my abilities, I have a grenade on my L2 and a throwing knife on my R2. And then if I press L2 and R2 when I have my overkill active or my special ability, I pull out a golden gun which is basically one hit kill on anything and I have three shots so as long as I'm accurate with it, I can dominate face. Now, my entire team seems to be going around the right flank so I'm going to go through the left flank and see if I can help out here. There's a guy up there and there's a easy kill on him. Well, that's a very good position actually, I'm kind of tempted to take that off him. But again, as I was saying with the map design, seeing as there's a lot of mobility in this game, you can really be creative with where you are. You're not limited to specific areas that you have to camp in or stick to as safe zones. You can pretty much choose anywhere or be really dynamic. Like if I go up on these rocks, and then if I'm correct, I think I've been up here before. Yeah, I can sit up here on this little rock face, which means I can guard that entrance, or I can guard any, or I can surprise any any, any enemies who come around here. Now there is a damn. That was actually the aim assist that put me off there. Again, I still haven't turned that off, which I should have. Oh no. See, he just like escaped over those rocks, which meant I couldn't get the kill and I got killed myself. I really do love the dynamic of the player versus player. It feels a lot like, hear me out here, it feels a lot like Titanfall, in that you have the whole double jump ability, it feels as though it's very fluid and you can move around. And you can also have, on some of the other maps, you can have vehicles, like tanks, so essentially they replace the Titans. And the player versus player, I wasn't expecting to like it. I never ever really liked player vs player in MMOs, but in this, I'm loving it. It's really, really good. And the fact it ties in your single player prog uh, single player progress progression, whatever you want to call it, is really awesome. It feels so not everything's in waste, and you're wasting time playing player vs player when you could be playing player vs enemy, because you actually earn currency which you can use in a single player game. And there's another assist. I've also got my super. Oh shit! There's a guy back there. Why can't I? Fo I've got no ammo. Crap. Oh, that's something I should actually mention. Seeing as you have a primary weapon, which is generally your weakest, you also have a special weapon, which is your sniper, and then you have a heavy weapon, which is your best one, and the ammo for the heavy weapons comes in very rarely, and it will notify you, then you basically rush to get the heavy weapon ammo, and you dominate face with them, and there's special weapon caches located around, like there's one around there, which I will try and get after killing this guy, um, can I, no, that was a terrible idea, I did get him with my incendiary grenade, and then finished him off with pulse rifle, as I said in the Play vs Enemy video, this um, pulse rifle really isn't too good at close range, so I kind of need to keep my distance, and that's the only way I'm actually going to get kills, and I want to switch to my sniper here, I don't have any ammo, why did I do that? 
My grenades and throwing knives are on cooldown. I need to get out of here. Oh! Oh! Uh, wait! There! 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 No! I shot his feet! God damn it! Well, I used my golden gun there, which was my um special ability, but I was terrible with the accuracy. I thought it had splash damage, so I was shooting at the ground, but I ended up just shooting his feet and not actually getting any kills at all. I'm, I'm much more comfortable with my sniper, so I think I will actually get some ammo for that and switch to it. Then probably go and secure point B, but by the looks of it, point C is actually under quite a lot of trouble. Under under trouble? It's under quite a lot of aggression. So I will defend point C, then move over to point B. Now, ooh, in fact, never mind. I can use my little shortcut over here and secure point B right from behind them. Hopefully if there's anyone defending, they won't expect me coming from here, so I want to be careful I don't fall off. And, yep, there's nobody around, so... There. Oh, shit. There's someone there. Uh, you see, I can't cover both directions at once, so I need to... Come on! Oh my god! Okay, that has to feel like the first point where I thought I should have got killed and didn't. Otherwise, this game has felt very responsive and the hit detection has been very good, but that, that felt like bullshit right there. But generally, I find the player versus player not frustrating at all like I do in other player versus player games like Battlefield Call of Duty, so I think I will actually be playing it a fair amount. And why are you... Uh, can I... What is... How did... I don't... Okay, maybe I should not be using the pulse rifle in that manner, but then as soon as I switched to melee, it felt really ineffective. Okay, let me get more special ammo and actually use my sniper. As I said, the thing I feel comfortable using. Ah, oh, but... Oh, in fact, I can use it here. And by the looks of it, I'm going to have to. There's an enemy right there. There's an assist. I really want to get some headshots, because I used to be good for getting headshots. Oh, no, there's more. I should keep my distance. Oh, God, the grenade. Oh, there's an enemy behind me. Oh, okay, it was just the enemy at the distance. He got me with a grenade and it was incendiary, so it slowly burned me to death. Now, are we actually... Oh, we are winning, somehow. We've actually got quite a good lead on the enemy. But... Oh, no, 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 no. I, um... I haven't got enough health to... Shit! Okay, he just ran in and meleeed me. That's probably the best thing he could have done. I'm actually doing absolutely terribly. You see, last time I played a PvP game, which was yesterday, I managed to get MVP easily. It's like I didn't even break a sweat. Although, then I was depending on my heavy weapon much more, and now I've got my heavy weapon, so let's see if I can turn this game around. Because this thing absolutely wrecks enemies, it does a lot of damage, and... Okay, that guy's already dead. It's not too good at long range, as... What's with the vibrations? What is that? Okay, oh, I think that was just a grenade or something. Okay, and... Oh, god damn it! That was absolutely terrible. I double jumped when I shouldn't have, so I, I just wasted my heavy ammo there and effectively gave it to him. So I'm really sorry for my abhorrent performance in this game, but I've still managed to get my thoughts off, which um, is reassuring. That's pretty much the entire purpose of this video, so I can tell you my thoughts on the PvP and show you in a nutshell what it's like. And Sniper here is going to be really effective if my accuracy with it is um, actually not terrible. I'm going to have to switch to this. Oh god, there's a lot of enemies here. I threw off everything I could, but I can't do shit. I threw my grenade, I threw my throwing knife, and I switched to my pulse rifle, but yeah, I can't I can't take on three. Especially when how badly I've been playing. Now I do need to go and defend C, so if I get here, they should run that round the corner any second now. Any second now. Uh, where are they? Are they run oh, there's one. And a this sniper just seems to be really good for setting up assists, I'm not gonna lie. And I know there's enemies around here, but there... Okay, I didn't actually help at all with that one. I've still got one more shot left, and there we go! There's a kill! About time! There's probably going to be a lot of grenades focused in this area, so... Oh god, my health is down to half. I want to reload my sniper and then look down. Ooh, I've got super chop. Maybe I can actually not fuck it up this time. It's been... I've just realised how long it's been since I've, um... Oh, there's two enemies there, this is so worth it. There's... I, um... I shot between them. I didn't actually get any kills at all, and then I got picked off by a sniper. Uh, it's been ages since I've did a commentary on an FPS game. I forgot how exhilarating it was and how hard it is to focus and shoot. It's easier to commentate Dota than it is this, I swear to god. Can I get up here? I kind of want to get up here see if it does anything for me. Because if I could sit in here, it blinds me, okay. I was going to say that'd be a really cool point where I can just sort of sit and defend. Or effectively camp, but... I want to get that ammo cache. But I don't like this area, there were a lot of enemies here before. Right, just sneak in, get the ammo, thank you very much. And, right... B A, B A. I'm gonna go to B. Oh shite, shite! That's a shotgun. Someone's using a heavy weapon against me. 
Oh, don't you dare come around that corner, you little shit. Damn it! Now, you may notice I am actually... Oh, you may notice I'm playing badly. I've already pointed out enough. I keep pressing R1. I should be bursting more like this. Instead, I'm doing this, which is very bad, because you can see that pretty much punishes me in terms of my accuracy going haywire. Now, fuck those guys. I can't contest this at all. Oh, no. No. Damn it. I thought I was a target I lowered on health, but I just got two of them on, like, half health. Or at least I managed to set up even more assists. I'm I'm just getting so many assists this game, it's ridiculous. But I suppose at least I'm getting the kills. Um, or at least my team's getting the kills, even. How can we capture A? Because the enemy's actually getting close to a comeback right now, and I'm slightly worried about it. They're capturing C, which means I'll be coming from this direction, which means there's a lot of pressure on me right now. Oh. There's two misses. I've only got two shots left. Damn it. Allies running him away. I'm going to reload whilst I can. And we won. Okay, never mind. Well, there is the PvP in the game. I'm sorry for my terrible display, as I said, but that's a PvP in Destiny. I think I will be picking this game up at full release if I can afford it. It comes out September 9th when the beta closes any day soon now, so I probably won't be able to play it much longer. But let me know if you enjoyed the video, and this is me, Evans with Z. This is me, Evans with Z. 111 out. Peace.